Mark. Mark. LCATs, Lunar Caves Analog Test Sites. I have not seen any program that begins at the middle school level that is what we're offering to students who are interested in space science. Our students are potentially with us for four years to be researchers, engineers, and to work with scientists, researchers, and engineers, and work on a project that's meaningful and that is an analog to a NASA space mission. Look out here, I'm seeing really uh, the realization of, a, of, a, of an idea, of a dream, to make San Antonio a space community. As a research scientist, I see potential in my lifetime for us to discover life on other worlds. The LCATS program seems like the real world. So kids can learn skills, they can become interested in things like math and science and engineering. This is very much modeled after what NASA does. We tried to make positions for student teams that were analogous to what we see in the laboratory and in space programs, things like the chief engineer or the systems engineer or principal investigator, scientists, technicians, everybody has to work together. It's a cast of thousands that makes these space missions work. We have a location on the lunar surface, the Marius Hill Skylight. For them to begin to research that, what does it mean? What are the challenges that you would face in commercialization habitation? They are learning about temperature readings, carbon dioxide, types of things that you have to consider if human life could live in that environment. They're gonna go in the robber bearing cave. They're gonna be using LIDAR, which is to map the caves. So they'll have an experience, an analog experience, explore the cave, use the sensing technology, see how it works, and then eventually that technology they learn about would be deployed on an autonomous robot. And we're sitting here at Mission Control SCOBY Education Center, the idea being that a ground-based crew would be at our analog robber bearing cave, and here would be the mission crew that's running the mission to autonomously deploy the robot in that location and collect that data and bring it back. So we have no reason not to believe that we aren't going to find life uh, somewhere here in our solar system in the conditions of places like Europa, Enceladus, and Saturn. So we're trying to convey that and, and get the kids excited about it, give them a taste of what the real world is like in space exploration, space science. I just know that one of our students is gonna set foot on the moon, on Mars, on an exoplanet. I know that they're gonna put San Antonio on the map. They have so much potential. So 20 years from now, I just wanna sit back and just get the joy of seeing how their careers have progressed and maybe, just maybe, how this opportunity was what gave them the little push, the little extra knowledge that made it happen for them.